How's it going, everybody? My name is JC. And I'm Rebel. And, and we, we are Redundant, Redundant Reactions. Reactions. And today, um, we're going to be watching, what's it called? I Build a Surgery Robot. And so Rebel oh, yes. suggested so this. I'm excited. And I, yeah, he told me about it. It's going to be exciting. So let's uh, we're gonna get, right let's into get it. to it, guys. Let's get to it after this, though. After this. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, what the hell is... Oh, he's looking at us. I'm, I'm confused. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, streamlined surgical experience for minimally invasive surgery available in the world today. I can build that. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Yeah, I know. You told me about this, man. This kid is smart, right? Super smart. Yes. Yeah. And it, it's fun to watch him build stuff. global health crisis going? My house is on full goddamn quarantine, and I'll probably be dead in a week anyway. Not from the virus, like like an electrocution accident or something. It's actually giving me a lot of free time, and what better way to spend free yeah. time right now than to help the medical industry? Now, I can't do that any chemistry good, or good biology boy. or, like, body stuff. Yuck. But I can do robotics, and let me tell you, those Da Vinci surgery robotics rat bastards are ripping hospitals off. Look at this. Two million dollars for one shitty Holy robot. Crap. They can spend that on a couple hundred bandages or, like, one ambulance ride. In the US. We can build a better <laughs> surgery robot for a lot less. Come on. The biggest flaw in Da Vinci's That's design sweet. is that it relies on these clunky, slow I robotic arms insets. for movement. Say you're operating on a so good. foot. He starts screaming out in pain. You gotta get up to his face, smack him around a little bit, make him shut up. Good fucking luck with these robotic arms. They're slow as <laughs> shit and they don't have any travel distance. Instead, we're gonna mount the surgical tools to a rail system that can move anywhere on the operating table. See, look, it's past Michael. You know, it took him five That's whole smart, days dude. to 3D model and build one rail carriage? What a dipshit. And you just I have to know how to control it. <laughs> I'm the narrator. I'm like, God, you can't I guess kill me. Computer can do it, right? Yep. Here's Sorry. what the final carriage looks like. You see, it uses wheel bearings to travel up and down the slots in this aluminum rod. But Michael, you're just gonna use your hand to make it move? No, you're stupid, and I hate you. For power, we're using a brushless <laughs> DC motor and an O drive to turn this into kind of like a brushless servo motor. Do I know what that means? Absolutely fucking not. I've never done this before. What I do know is someone told my voice crack. <laughs> what I do know is someone told me this would be fast and very accurate. And all you have to do to put it in is. is Isn't that pretty how he does the editing? Yeah, it's cool. Right? It's super he's just like, quick. Okay, give me a fucking break. Gadget. Inspect the gadget. I got the motor very professionally hooked up to the driver board. <laughs> it's hooked up to my computer so we can see what this thing can do. Okay, so this is the like calibration sequence. It needs to do this before it actually runs. Okay. Oh, that's so fucking sick. Oh, I think it, it should be a little faster though. Uh, oh, okay. The motor has default parameters, so you can just turn those up. Let's try it out now. <laughs> he knows how to code it and everything. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Oh, bad, 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 bad. He's, he's taking it from, from complete garbage to actual machine. That's good. That's, that's fast. Give me one second. I love how dangerous it is. It's not right there. Whoa, it's pretty cool. It's motion detected. Yeah. We just gotta put a few of these together and it looks like this. I did the quirky little snap teleportation thing, right? That was three weeks ago. I'm fucking three weeks ago. But I built this test platform out this of aluminum good. and wood that I stole from my girlfriend's bed frame. It's not like I can go to Home Depot on quarantine. It's just a prototype, so I can write and test the software before I build the actual thing. But even the prototype is, so is pretty good. cool. It's the same idea with the motor carriage on the X axis, but now I have two additional motors on the Y axis. And on their own, they're just motors. They don't know how to talk to each other. They don't know how to cooperate. But if you write some software that can talk to all the motors, you can make it do pretty much anything you want. That's this true, man. That's amazing. Sequence. It figure outs the bounds of the machine by measuring the amperage of the <laughs> <laughs> stop. <laughs> yeah, you can make it. That's, a, that's make crazy. It so it's like you, you right? Yeah. It's whatever he wants to do the mouse pad. Yeah. Prototype. <laughs> it like it's all jerky. Stupid. Yeah. So I'm controlling it with my mouse right now. It looks jerky and awful, but it's actually got a really good amount of precision. Smooth, right? It's, it's just because it's not strapped down. Or, yeah. Like I said, this is not the final surgery robot. It's going to be much more refined, much more medical looking, you know, much more safe for the user. And all that movement <laughs> but, was like, controlled by the code I wrote. Don't worry about He not did that already to that point. So he's like, I don't give a shit what you think. Look at this dynamic bounds detection routine. You want to see the code? I don't care. Yeah, see the code. I love it. You can put it here. The bounds of your machine. Yeah, fuck that limit switch. It's cringe. Instead, write some code that steps the motor forward until it starts using a lot of power. Then you know you hit the edge of the rail. And then you know exactly where you are in relation to the bounds of the machine. It's fucking sick. Look how cool the code part is, guys. I'm gonna keep yeah. going. This part applies the scaling factors that are calculated it. as a function of the input. 
But Michael, I hear you ask. So you can move the carriage over any part of the operating table you want. Great. <laughs> but how are you going to move the medical tools up and down to engage with the patient? Well, that's where the carriage utility mechanism comes into play. That's the thing that's going to move the scalpel or the clamp. The or carriage whatever. utility oh, mechanism. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. it. There's just a small problem, slight problem. Well, I built it. I built it, which is a good thing. My original plan was, you know, just to have a thin piece of plastic with a motor attached to it that moves a plate. Easy. But then I fucking I saw that thing. Okay, there's no way that's going to survive. So I got to make it a little stronger. You know, I may as well make it go a little faster. I got a little carried away. Now it looks like a time bomb and it weighs 10 fucking pounds. <laughs> but it's great. The motor precisely moves the mounting plate up and down wherever you want it to go. The thing is, I just don't know if those motors can handle 10 pounds. So we're going to have to do a little test. Michael, why don't you just use the carriage utility mechanism to test it out? Well, it took me a long time to build and it's fucking beautiful. So try more. It looks like it's handling small movements pretty well. Y axis action. Okay, that's not that bad. Okay, oh, oh, it's fine. It'll be fine. We can probably just go ahead and make the final version. And it yeah, looks like this. It I did the stupid hand thing again. It's been three more weeks. I have severe depression. But Michael, where's the surgery robot? Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, I big reveal. Cut. This is oh, a surgery nice. robot. Yeah. Massive payoff. Huge. I have brain damage. Behold the superior <laughs> surgery robot. Damn. Da Vinci shitter tins. It's got the comp. It's got the cable management. It's got the super fucking hard to reach driver boards. I don't know why I put them under here. I thought it would look cool. But Michael, <laughs> does it even work? Does it work? <laughs> Does it work? I don't know if it works. I haven't turned it on yet. I've been too afraid <laughs> since it took me so long to build, so I turned the camera on so you can at least see my tears when it tears itself apart. I'm worried about this because when I built it, I went ooga booga caveman brain, metal strong. Metal not strong. Metal more like McDonald's play place trampoline, but you gotta take chances when you're innovating on the next great thing. So I'm gonna yeah. turn it on. Oh, yeah, that's cool. God, oh, please. Yeah, okay. Please don't break it. Yeah! All right, the machine's working. Now we can start to control it. But Michael, where's the controller? Fuck you. You are the controller. I got oh, this what? VR hand yeah, tracking right? camera off of Amazon that works super goddamn well. So you just take the hand coordinates from this, pipe them in the surgery robot, and bang, awesome, right? boom. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boom. Fuck you, Dimension Robotics. You can move my thing with just floating your hand around. Robot, go here. Ooh, robot, do surgery here. Oh, no, patient bleeding there. Oh, do surgery there on that part. How about you do surgery over here? Now do surgery over there, and now do surgery. Fuck you, Vinci. You shitty robot can't do that. Squeeze. You need to squeeze those little metal robot teeth to do yours. <laughs> Shit. Before I sell my design to surgeons across the nation, we have to attach some surgical tools to the cum, because otherwise, it's just a big-ass yeah, robot. It. So let's Final find a test. scalpel on Amazon. Wow, that is just unacceptable. Scalpels are going <laughs> to take a whole three days. Wow, that's pretty reasonable. Fuck, no, that's messed up. <laughs> Dang global health crisis. That's far You'll too have long. To use if only else. I had an alternative. When you really think about it, scalpels are just shitty, smaller knives. So why don't we just use bigger, better knives? Like, uh, hello, we already have those. Wake up, sheeple. <laughs> are you tired of outdated surgical technology? Are you looking for the cutting edge <laughs> he made a power, commercial. He did. and usability? Look no further. The future of surgical robotics is He's gonna show us here. what he's got. <laughs> Oh shit, he's guys. got a knife on it. <laughs> Unlike Stabbing some other physical systems, it's a we run a robot. gamut of tests to ensure our machine uh, has power. <laughs> I'm gonna stab a pineapple with oh, fuck mincing the operation. <laughs> Operate on it. Surgery uh, over surgery. Uh, patient. Small incision. Funny, dude. Uh, small incision. <laughs> we'll move the patient. It commence surgery on the patient. The power isn't the only thing to strive for. Precision is an essential uh, tenet of surgery, and we have no exceptions. For precision, yeah. For yeah, he's what just showing you how much is that? Hey, you're ready to do some painting? No, Lily, come on, please. She's scared <laughs> of it. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, Draw the Mona Lisa. Draw the Mona Lisa. <laughs> oh, I got the paint, I got the paint. The eyes. That's a little racist looking, Lily. I'm not joking. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so good. I'm not going to pressure you, but this is supposed to show how accurate my machine is. <laughs> <laughs> It'll reach the water. You just have to Let's know how to work that thing out. Do that. You precision. might be wondering, yeah. is the system FDA approved? Of course not. <laughs> no. But don't just take our word for it. Here's what a real medical professional has to say about this innovative new technology. We're gonna go for like a laparoscopic appendectomy. So if we just make a small incision above the chest here, uh, we can... <laughs> uh, 
a little bit more difficult for some procedures, <laughs> but not <laughs> You can see you still have a lot more accurate control oh than a lot Oh my god, he's just killing the thing. A little bit of death, you know? <laughs> Like I was saying, moving the, the that guy's watching it. Hmm. a lot like, easier with the system. Happy. Like, normally you'd have to manually move them. <laughs> would, be, uh, would you add this to your hospital? Do you think hospitals could adopt? Uh, seems a little dangerous. Okay. I appreciate the feedback. You're wrong. Last but not least, we've You're made our machines so intuitive that anyone can do surgery with no prior training. So you've never seen this two machine before in your life? No. This is perfect because this study is to see if we can bring someone from zero skill level all the way up to the ability of a surgeon. Boot up right in front of them. Not too close because it's kind of dangerous. So just put your hand up. <laughs> 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 you just so put good. your hand out above the thing. <laughs> so, higher up controls the knife position. You can move it further closer That's and cool, dude. further yeah, away right? from you. We're gonna make a small incision right above the ear. Another incision to stop plugging the hole with the knife. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Nice. Yeah, you perfect. Oh, Oh, this, what's, it's okay, no, it's fine. It's, it's learning, oh, it's a shit. learning experience. Try and it's crack the knife in the head. So let's, let's just try and get it out of the... Oh, I did Yeah. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good incision. <laughs> if your patient's over here, and I don't know what he's not expecting. He's like, yeah. Here. Do some surgery over here, move him back. I don't even know what surgery this was supposed to be. Thank you for watching. There that includes research and development yeah. for my That was awesome. <laughs> that that was good, man. You were right. Out, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to me on YouTube, and maybe, just maybe, oh, that's I'll a smart let you kid, man. for a bit. Remember, stay in school, smoke crack, fuck you, Da Vinci Robots, bye. <laughs> <laughs> this YouTube video is sponsored by Raycon. And then him making his fat checks from his, uh, uh, you know, sponsors. Yeah. yeah. Raycons are super convenient. I bet. That's a good sponsor to do this kind of video. It is, yeah. But it's Here. not a sacrifice for quality, just but it sounds just yeah. as good as any other top audio brand. I've said it before, but I think But he gets his ad, you know, we owe him at least, I think. makes a lot off that, yeah. Portable, yep. And we, and I think we deserve to play it because... More than the entire time yeah. <laughs> it's his content, the least yeah. we could do, which is no just play his commercial. Every day E25s, because they got six hours of battery life, seamless Bluetooth pairing, they fit really well. At the end of the day, I just fucking care. No, we're selling. See, we practically work for you. Yeah, seamless Bluetooth pairing is good, I tell you. click the link in the description to go to buyraycon.com slash reads for 15% that's his name. I want to thank Raycon again. All right, Parts man. This video really started to add up after a while, and I don't think I would have been able to do it without their support, so thank you. I appreciate nice. it. And again, if you're interested, go to buyraycon.com slash raise for 15% off. That's the end of the video. That's the end. Thank you. Bye. Cool, man. That's that was awesome. good. Yeah. There you go. Well, what would you think? I thought, I thought it was good. good. Yeah, yeah, another good, good one, man. So, right? you, I mean, I trust what what your recommendations are for sure. Uh, one of these days, we'll do something that uh, I recommend yeah, and you haven't seen. You know what I mean? Because I'm down to see Eventually. stuff I haven't seen. I, it's been a lot of stuff yeah. that I, I've recommended, but I'm just hoping to find stuff you like and keep it going and see what people like. You know? Obviously. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. So thank you guys. Like and subscribe. Right. Like and subscribe. Yeah. Please do like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time. Yeah. See you next time, everybody. Thank you. Bye.